Finally, this slide presents the integrated picture of all the mechanisms that we've developed up to this point uh, in the first part of the textbook, culminating in a combination of error-driven and heavy in learning. And this is actually, this combination is what gives rise to this acronym, LIBRA, Learning and Error-Driven and Associative Biologically Realistic Algorithms, intended to con connote a balance between different perspectives and, and forces in learning and in the activity space. So these balancing of the tug of war, the balance of the positive and negative feedback loops, um, these all are kind of supposed to be captured in this kind of balance scale kind of notion of Libra. So that EA is supposed to be pronounced like I, Libra. Um, and like the astrological sign of the balance scales. And who knows anything about justice. The network level mechanisms that we talked about in terms of bi-directional connectivity, which supports and is essential for both error-driven learning and for kind of top-down imagery and constraint satisfaction and attractor dynamics. All those critical principles are supported by bi-directional connectivity. So we see a synergy across the learning and the activation space. And we also have inhibitory competition, which is critical as we saw for enabling self-organizing learning to work, but also plays a critical role in the context of error-driven learning and enforcing representations to be kind of sparse, but yet still distributed, very efficiently representing information, extracting the critical pieces of information, uh, efficiently using the number of neurons that we have available, and of course having many layers of these uh, uh, neurons interacting so that we can get these accumulative benefits of the detectors that we've talked about since chapter two, uh, being able to detect ever more complex, higher level representations as we go deeper into the network. So all of these features are present and kind of critical for our overall mechanism. And then again, we, the foundation of everything is the simple integrate and fire neurons that we talked about as the kind of uh, core computational element of the whole system. So everything is very clearly, strongly biologically grounded. Every single feature here is well known to be present in the neocortex. There's nothing that isn't widely known to be present in the neocortex with the possible exception of the error-driven learning. But I think hopefully that you can see that there's plenty of reasonable basis for error-driven learning to emerge out of very well-grounded biological mechanisms. And therefore, we think that this does really represent a very viable, biologically grounded framework for thinking about how learning and processing work in the brain. And the second half of the text will now explore how these different mechanisms enable us to understand a wide range of different cognitive functions, from everything from perception, motor control, reinforcement, learning, uh, perception, attention, language, and higher level executive function.